Welcome back to this clown's garage. In this video, I'll show you how to wire in a fuse block. Now, you can pick this up from your AutoZone or Pet Boys or any auto parts dealer. Uh, Buswin makes this. This is 20 amps per circuit here. You can put it on here. And it looks like this. Okay, this car has a bunch of relays here for the auto start, remote start and the Viper alarm it has in here. Now it melted a fuse, that's because they used too many circuits on this power wire here. They tapped into it here, they used three power wires here and their amperage was too high and it melted this fuse. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this fuse block to separate out the circuits that this tapped into. Okay, first thing we should check here is to see if this is the ignition hot source and I put, a, I put the test on a good ground, an ignition off and as you can see here that has power with the ignition off so we know that these circuits that are fed through here are constant on so we're just going to run a straight feed from the battery terminal to this fuse block so what we're doing is, this is inside the engine compartment this car is a 99 GMC you can't Denali, but in case you wanted to know what car I'm working on. And we're just going to use that over there. That's coming straight off from the battery. Now always make sure you look up the amperage of the gauge wire you're using. Because if uh, you're not using enough thickness of a wire, um, you can overload it and overheat it if you're, pulling, if you're drawing too much amperage. So if you're not sure, do an amperage test on all the circuits that you're putting on there to make sure how much the draw will be. Also, uh, the run of wire, the length of wire also, you could get a voltage drop if you go too, too far. So you might have to up the gauge. Just do a search on Google to see what, how much uh, feet could support how much amperage per, for a gauge wire. I have this on a good ground, which is the master cylinder over there, the brake lines. As you can see, if I connect the test light here with the ignition off, it turns on a test light. Now to connect an ignition hot source, you would have to put in a relay in the circuit. So it only feeds power when the ignition is turned on. And that relay has to be able to support the amperage that you're drawing from the fuse block total. Alright, so we're going to use 10 gauge wire primary wire and under here we're gonna go through here let me see if I can show you guys through there now there's no grommet there there should be a grommet there and we're just gonna feed it through into the wire loom into the engine bay all right so we put the wire in this little loom here we're just sneaking it in there for now and we're gonna go ahead and put it through the firewall all right, now I'm just going to go ahead and snake this through here while my friend on the other side pulls it through. Now disconnect the battery, the positive side. Now this is a half inch over here. I'm gonna take that off. I'm just gonna send this down a little bit. Now we're gonna put the solder filled outlet eyelets here. This you can also pick up at your auto parts dealer. Strip this wire. That. Twist this. Twist the bitch. Pop it in here. And make sure the eye the eyelet is for the gauge that you're using it tells you right over here 12 to 10 gauge we're using a 10 gauge here 
I'm going to go ahead and print this down. I'm going to use the insulated side, which is the first step over there. It's good. Grab this, pull it, you're good. Now go ahead and heat this up. And we're good. Okay, you can see a little, there's a little bit of glue that squirted out. So that's good also. It's a sign that it's good. Now put this back on and go ahead and put this on top over here and you're good alright now the other, side of the other side of the wire I'm going to go ahead and strip this twist pop this on, we have a smaller connector here it's still yellow, so it's still 10 gauge. So put that in there. Go ahead and crimp that down. Tug, you're good. Now go ahead and heat that up. And you're good. Okay, now that's a 3 8 nut on here. Pop that off. That's to feed power. On. Put the star washer on the bottom. Tug it, you're good. All right, now I'm going to take this off here. This blue wire, this black wire, this little red wire off this burned fuse circuit. As you can see, it's a bad job right there. Tisk tisk on a person who did this. Okay. So these are the wires that were tapped in there. Alright, that's to connect these wires to this fuse block here. You get these spade connectors and they're females and just put them over here to get the power. So the yellow is the 12 to 10 gauge and the blue is 16 to 14 gauge. So just gonna go ahead and put those terminals on here. Alright, so put this over here. Tug it and you're good. Now connect this one here. And push it in, baby. The mean the female to the male. Now same thing with this one. Alright, now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this over here. And this is the, the fuse that melted. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this and tape it up, it's not going to be used. So you can go ahead and strip this and put this in the block also. Okay, now I'm going to put a buck connector here. I love buck connectors because I'm Greek. And crimp that baby down. Tug. And you're good. Now I'm going to extend this wire. I'm going to strip this one. Heat that up. Tug tug, you good? You good? Tug and this end goes over here.
Now put the battery cable back on. And let's go back in the car. All right, now you just get fuses from the other parts of the store also. These are busmen. We need 10, 10 amps for each circuit here. And you just pop those in place here. It's one. two and three and the last thing you could do is you take zip ties or you could screw them if you want they go through here and you could zip tie this wherever you want out of the way you also zip tie the wires over here so that's how you connect a fuse block to a car thanks for watching subscribe to my channel and like me hasta la vista